In this, the second episode of No BS Black Friday, we asked our partners, what's the number one thing that merchants can do to make a Black Friday Cyber Monday campaign successful? For this one, I would say clear expectation setting is one of the keys and then going on to meet those customer expectations. So having stock updates in real time, having the operational infrastructure to deal with an influx of orders and meeting the promises that, that you've made online are, are key here. Um, if you're promising next day delivery, for example, Black Friday, Cyber Monday can't really be used as an excuse not to deliver on it if you're still setting that expectation on the website. Don't go in half-hearted. Uh, if you're not in a position to compete and would rather trade your usual fuller price merchandise until after Christmas then then do so you know many clients are using Black Friday to get rid of unwanted very much end of line uh, products but if you've got a premium product that you believe will sell at full price then by all means resist the urge. Success this Black Friday is going to come by balancing what you're doing on the Friday with what you're doing the rest of the week coming to that Friday and the week after. I mean sales but really hitting your goals if you are trying to find next new customers make their first purchase or convert one-time purchasers to uh, second or third time purchase to increase their LTV. It really does depend on what you're trying to do. Reliable platform and automation, especially this year when a pandemic caused many brands to work uh, with limited resources. Many merchants reduce their staff levels and more than ever should not compromise on possibilities with, um, that e-commerce platform can provide to them. I'd say preparation, communication, and then execution. So you need to know what you're trying to sell. Then you need to communicate it to people with enough notice to create some FOMO. And then finally, you need to be able to deliver on this. So making sure that people can get onto the site, buy the things that they want, and then check out. Think about the CACs that you're going to see in Black Friday. They are going to be extremely expensive. You probably want to front load your marketing spend the week before, even two weeks before. You want to do pre-sales. You want to do all these things while the CACs are still affordable and then use that Friday to re-engage people that you've already acquired. We believe at Vico Automation for absolutely everything in the business. Having all your email set up, your paid ads going live and stock always accurate across all of your e-commerce channels. Please don't forget to analyze the data from your competitors, the successful ones. Check how they treat their shoppers from the time they enter their website until forever, since it doesn't stop when they place their first order. Obviously, we all know it's about having those large discounts, um, but it's not only about that. I think it's it's having a seamless campaign, you know, whatever channel you are marketing on, um, you're, you're putting across the same message, what you want to get across, um, but also it's about being socially aware. And I think that's really important for retailers at the moment. Not so far ago, um, in 2015, during Black Friday, um, Gymshark was offline for eight hours, and that failure cost them an estimated $143,000 in lost sales. This is when um, they decided to make um, a switch to Shopify Plus and um, automation because merchants should be able to plan their campaigns in advance. The top thing that makes a campaign around Black Friday Cyber Monday successful is ensuring that it focuses on making the customers that you already have feel special rather than just on acquiring new ones. Customers who have shopped with you before already know and trust your brand, they're easier to convert and they typically have higher average order values. This means that the greatest ROI you can deliver over the Cyber Weekend will be from those customers that you already have and can re-engage. Also, please don't forget about the triggers that they use depending on the shopper's actions. From there, you can find the small details that can merge into something big and it definitely will bring some results. People like to buy from companies that are you know, socially responsible. So, so having some kind of socially responsible element of your campaign will be great. So I would say the number one thing is plan ahead and create a calendar so you have a clear image of how your campaign is going to look like and you don't get overwhelmed on the actual uh, date. And from a customer success, customer service standpoint, making sure that your customers aren't unhappy with long wait times or, or anything else like that. You really don't want that fallout to ruin all of your hard work by leaving a negative taste in your customer's mouth.